So today I have a rant video in Dead by Daylight. Now I know I made a rant video like a couple of days ago, but today I kind of want to rant about the nerfs. Yes, nerfs coming to DS or should I say Decisive Strike in Dead by Daylight. Now I'm not making this video because I'm main survivor or I always run DS or my DS or DS is my main perk. No, I don't think the current state of DS is fine at all. I don't. Honestly, I'm going to say that from someone who plays both sides. I don't think it's fine. They could have changed it. But I don't think this change was necessary in my opinion. Now if you want to have a debate in the comment section below, make sure you actually watch the whole video before going straight in etc etc. And just try and be like not malicious to me or anything like that. Just have a simple fucking debate like it ain't that hard. Like, generally, I respect you, you respect me etc etc. And yeah, let's jump right into today's video guys. So as you can see on the screen right now, if you don't know what the changes are, I'll simply go through them and explain how much has changed in this little information so obviously DS uh, activates for 60 minutes at level 3 and obviously you stun the killer for 5 seconds etc now here's the changes so while active the following interactions deactivate DS so when I mean deactivate I mean deactivate DS like, until you're hooked next if you're uh, not on death hook so it fully deactivates while repairing a generator okay healing Okay, cleansing a totem. What? Sabotaging a hook. But why and unhooking others? So, so the current DS right now, not the one in this uh, patch. Let's just say the current DS right in the game right now, before it's updated, nerfed, is not fine. Uh, at this point, to be honest, the DS right now is you could do gens and everything in the game. You can still play the game and have DS to carry you. Which obviously isn't that fair for the killer, but it really depends what kind of team you're getting. It, so I can't really say the perks always unbalanced when that's the situation. Now I know some killers won't tunnel on purpose; they just happen to forget they hooked you, or they just need to hook you for momentum. You know all that shit, and DS will be like, "Oh bullshit, DS saved them." You know. Now I kind of understand that part, but it went from that to you basically being really, really strong until. DS being useless. Uh, this is how uh, right now, this new DS, you're literally forced to jump in the locker to make the killer take your DS, or purposely get down, or just some way make the killer take your DS. Now you can either get a killer that will take your DS completely, uh, who's most likely not experienced as killer or don't really understand the effects of DS, or you're going against a killer who will wait outside the locker or wait or slug you and wait till the DS run out pick you up. Or they will simply uh, just trick you or just walk away. Now, if they walk away and leave you, if you still don't really feel comfortable or you still uh, know that they'll 100% tunnel you, then the perk becomes useless because when you just carry on with the game, you can't get used to the perk. So you're basically forced to make the uh, killer take your perk for the perk to be use uh, useful, right? So the perk's literally useless if you just play the game normally, like just do gens and healing. Which is kind of bullshit because the perk is useless. Now I wanted a change to this perk, not a complete fucking full on nerf to make it completely useless because, I don't know, uh, this is the rant part right now by the way, I'm going to get into it. It's stupid, okay, this is how, I don't think the devs, the devs wouldn't be in a position to nerf perks, this is me from someone who plays both sides, I'm going to say this simply, if they fucking balanced or fixed gen speed, nerf gen speed completely. Now I know that may sound off the rails a bit, uh, now when I mention gen speed I mean optimal gen speed. Now they've tried that in the past where if most killers, uh, most survivors are on a gen, it doesn't go as quick as it used to, but it's still stupid, it, it's still fucking stupid. Like just fix gen speed, okay, then we won't have to nerf perks and this is where toxicity becomes an infinite cycle because someone's not happy with the perk, they start ranting, complaining, then arguments happen. And people start playing like dicks in games. Uh, like devs, it just fix gen speed, then you want to be in a position to nerf perks. Because no, perks ain't the problem. Yeah, I'm not saying this DS currently right now is fucking fine. It isn't, okay? I'm saying that for someone who fucking sometimes misses the perk. Uh, or someone who doesn't really get used to it. Like, if you're a solid team and it could have takes your DS, that's going to hurt you massively. And this is for me who fucking plays in tournaments. I understand the fucking pain of DS. It, Trust me, it's a pain in the ass. Now, DS is not the most broken perk in the game, um, and it's definitely not the main problem 
in the game. A gen speed is, but the devs ignore that because they didn't have gen speed, then they lose half the fucking survivor main fan base. Which statistically, there's more survivor mains than killer mains. There is, uh, trust me, uh, that's the stats. I mean, unless you just tell me the stats in the comment section below without any link or anything, then I wouldn't really believe you. Not like a dick way, there's just no way to believe you. And uh, trust me, if they nerf gen speed, imagine this, okay? They have so much extra time. Because what they're going to do is they're going to nerf a lot of perks, or every perk. <laughs> they might as well at this point. Uh, then they're going to think later on, okay, what if gen speed is the problem? Then they're gonna do that. Then they've wasted all that time and they've run out of ideas. I, like, this is time which pisses me off the most. The devs, I, trust me, I've said this before and so have other people. They have so much freedom. They have so much creativity freedom when it comes to doing shit like that. They do and they're just gonna waste time. If they fucking fixed gen speed and nerfed it, then they would be in the position of making tomes better because tomes right now are shit. Recolors. Make a new maps. They haven't done that over fucking seven months. They could fucking make new game modes. They could do so much fucking shit. But they don't care. They don't. Oh my days. This fucking pattern gen speed, man. The stop nerfing perks is not necessary. Like, I wanted a change. Now, I'm not making this because I wanted it being untitled. But was it really necessary? If you made a little change to DS, then it may make a huge impact. But this impact here is not. <laughs> it's so ludicrous. Because it's now useless. Well done, devs. Good job. You tried. Uh, anyways, um, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Uh, are you guys happy or disappointed? And could they have done better? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video.